What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom themes on a jailbroken PS4. So all you need is a jailbroken PS4 on 4.05 or 4.55 firmware for this to work. And you can pretty much customise a lot by making your own themes. So you can obviously customise these icons like your web browser icon, your you know, capture gallery, all that kind of stuff. You can customize the font color, uh, the background image, the function menu background image, your actual function icons here as well. You can customize those. Uh, as you can hear, the dying light theme in the background, so you can customize the music um, and even the scrolling sounds, which uh, you're probably not going to be able to really hear that, but uh, that is a custom sound for the scrolling and selecting. In fact, you'll probably hear it better on the on another theme that I made, which was. Uh, not a very good theme, but you know, just as I was testing, I made a Black Ops 1 theme. So you should be able to hear this a little bit better. So that sound when I'm pressing B and I'm selecting is custom. So you can customize all of that stuff. So quite a lot of stuff there that you can customize by making your own theme. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and transition over to the computer and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so over to the computer here. So I'm zoomed out quite a bit more than normal. Uh, normally I zoom in, uh, you know, my screen a bit for uh, for my tutorials, but because, you know, I'm going to be opening lots of folders and image files and audio and stuff and dragging and dropping lots of stuff, it's probably better just for it to be like this. Um, but I will zoom in uh, if, you know, if it's too hard for you guys to read. So anyway first thing you're going to need is fake package tools. Now make sure you download the latest version of the fake package tools because we need this uh, VAG converter in here. Uh, you're also going to want uh, the PS4 theme creator. So this is a tool that I made to basically uh, make creating a theme a lot quicker and easier because I actually recorded a video on how to make a theme before I made this tool um, and realized this is why I need to make this tool because it took forever. Um, so this tool basically does a lot of the a lot of stuff for you. It generates a lot of the files for you, so that you don't have to do stuff manually as much, and it just makes things a little bit faster. So what we're going to do is I've got a folder here that uh, has nothing in it. So this is where I'm going to you know put my project file. So I'm going to do file new theme, and just select this as my project file. Now I'm going to make a Last of Us theme for this demonstration. So I'm going to call this uh, L O U for Last of Us uh, theme. This is going to be my project folder. So I've also got this assets folder, which, uh, you know, just again, to speed through things a bit quicker, uh, contains all the stuff that I've downloaded for my custom theme. So I've got my background images, my icons, sound files, stuff like that. So for my background theme, I've gone with uh, this kind of subtle theme for The Last of Us. Uh, it should work quite well. Make sure it's a, th a short, uh, audio track make sure it's not really any longer than sort of three or four minutes uh, so we've got that now as for the scrolling selecting and cancel noises uh, you can if you don't want to bother with those because it's a bit of effort but you know if you don't want to bother with those then just don't add them and you know the ps4 will just use the default sounds um, but if you do want to go the extra step and do it basically what i did was i you know went onto the game uh, turned the volume, the music volume down to zero and then just recorded with my capture card, you know, me scrolling through the menus and selecting stuff, uh, which, you know, just resulted in, in this. So you can hear me just kind of like scrolling through the menus there. And then uh, I went into Audacity and, you know, just cut them up into little sound bites. So I've got select sound, uh, my scrolling sound, and my cancel sound. So there we go. Uh, now also for my content images, what I've done is I've just gone ahead and, you know, basically taken the, the normal content images and made them transparent so that uh, we'll see more of the background through them. Uh, so that's what I went ahead and did. That's why I went ahead and did that. So all we have to do now is go ahead and start, you know, adding these images. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my home screen image over the home screen. That adds it there. 
Uh, I can click on function preview which gives me a preview of the function screen. Drag my background image on for that. So there we go and I'm not going to swap out these images because I think it's going to look, you know, these default images here probably are going to look better anyway with this grayscale image as a background. Uh, but if you wanted to swap them out again you just have to, you know, drag and drop some custom images on top to swap them out. Whoops. There we go. To swap them out there. Um, I'll go ahead and clear those because I don't want to add any new images for those. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some content images as well. So I'll add these four. Now you can swap every single one out if you want, but you know, this is just a demonstration. So I'm only going to do a few. So I'm going to do the web browser, gallery, and library and you know live from PlayStation uh, that's just a little kind of glitch with the transparency but uh, it will work just fine so yeah there we go uh, let's see so theme color up here you want to you know select one of those blue is default so that's you know when you're in the settings and there's no background you'll just have like a standard color uh, so for you know the last of us I think maybe a gray would probably work best there uh, you want enable BGM to be true and now for the font color so you can select from you know any of your standard font colors as you can see there they, the color you know changes to give you a little representation you can go to uh, the function screen see what it will look like on the function screen uh, personally I'm gonna go with a white for uh, for this theme uh, for the font and then for the font shadow I'm gonna go with black focus color uh, we'll just go with white for that uh, home screen dimmer now this, you can click on more colors and, you know, edit, change the opacity and, you know, your different colors. So home screen dimmer is the bar that appears at the top. Uh, it kind of fades out further down. So for this, you know, I don't really want that to be very visible. So I'm going to make it white and, you know, just put it down to about 20% opacity. Uh, then for the function dimmer, which is basically the same thing for the function menu, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, so white and, you know, have this down at actually zero. Don't even want there to be a, a function uh, dimmer. So I'm going to cut that out completely, make it uh, uh, zero for opacity, so it's disappeared completely. And then title name dimmer, so if we go back to the background image, so this is this bar that's around here, uh, just to make it more prominent. If I make it red, you can see it clearly there. So again, I'm just going to make it white, but you know, I'll put the opacity down to maybe about 15% so it's barely visible. So that'll do right there. So this will do for just kind of like a basic theme. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to audio. So for audio, we're going to want our background music and we want to add it in here. So I'm just going to click and drag. Again, uh, this needs to be a WAV file, not an MP3. So if it's MP3, you'll have to convert it to WAV using, you know, Audacity or some other converter. And when you add it in here, it, this is converting it to an AT9 file, which is the file format it needs to be for the PlayStation 4 to to work, uh, to work on the PS4. So it needs to be a .AT9 file. So that just converted it for us. Uh, now we need to add our, you know, our little sound bites for scrolling, selecting, and uh, cancelling. Now, if you are doing that, uh, there is no option in the theme editor to convert those. So you'll have to go into Fake Package Tools, open up VAG Converter, and just select your three sounds for cancel, scrolling, and selecting. Drag them in. Click Convert All. And that will convert them all to these VAG files. And then you can add those VAG files into the theme editor. So we'll just select our VAG files, drag them in. And then you'll be prompted right here. To, I'll say, what do you want to use the soundbite for? So selecting, cancelling, and scrolling. There we go. And that adds them in. Okay, so we're very close to being done here. So all we have to do is add an icon. So I'm just going to take this Last of Us icon, add that in there. Um, again, if you can't drag and drop, just you know, you know, say if you're running as admin on Windows 10, it doesn't doesn't let you drag and drop anything. You can uh, you know just click these buttons to browse for you know your image files or your sound files if you can't drag and drop. 
So now we come down to theme title. So I'm just going to call this L O U R for Last of Us and then Subtle Theme because the background music is quite subtle. So I'm going to call it Subtle Theme. And then the title ID, you just want to make this different to any other title ID on any other application you have on your PS4. That way it's, there's no chance of it conflicting with anything else you already have or overwriting something you already have uh, on your PS4. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this ID, I don't have anything else with that specific title ID on. So once you've confirmed that, you've got all that stuff added. Uh, uh, so all we have to do is click uh, Create Theme. And then I'll ask where we want to save our GP4 file. So I'm just going to save it into the same folder in the theme directory. So theme created, open the save GP4 file in Orbis Pub Gen and click build. So that's it. It's done. So all we have to do now, if I minimize this, is open up our theme editor. So what the tool created was this GP4 file. And this is a project file that you can just open up in Orbis Pub Gen. So if we open Orbis Pub Gen in the fake package tools and go to file open open l uh, open your .gp4 file that the theme editor saved and then that's got all the settings for you so all you have to do is click build and select you know where you want to save your package file click build and it will create your package file for you and there we go close and we now have our package file on there ready to go. So all you have to do is put that package file on a USB. So make sure the USB stick is of course XFAT or FAT32 format so that the PS4 can recognize it. And then you just want to copy your package file into the root of your USB stick. And there you go. All we have to do now is unplug the USB, plug it back into the PS4 and install the theme. Okay, so back over to the PS4 here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and run the internet browser, run your WebKit uh, exploit and go to 4.55 and run the homebrew enabler. And, you know, if you get out of memory errors, just keep clicking OK until it eventually runs. You'll know because you'll get a notification in the top left saying, you know, um, hen is enabled v1.4 or something like that. So once you have Hen running, you should be able to head out to settings and scroll down to uh, debug settings, select game, package installer, and install your theme, which should show up on the USB. And there we go, it installs pretty fast. And we can click the middle button when prompted and that'll take you to the theme to activate it. So as you can see, we've got our preview image on the left, we've got our grey background image on the right, as, as we selected. And if we head to themes in the settings, we'll also see that we have our uh, Last of Us icon there as well. So let's go ahead and select it, and apply, and there we go, our theme is now running. So you can hear the scrolling images. Uh, images, the scrolling sounds. Custom scrolling sounds there. Custom noise sounds, and then we've got our, uh, you know, subtle theme playing in the background. And of course, our see through icons right here for our content icons. We've got our background image. There's our white text with uh, the black uh, shadow color. Uh, everything we basically set up on the theme editor and if we go here we've got our function menu background and our regular function icons so yeah that's basically it that's how you create your own custom theme as you can see it's a lot easier with the theme editor um, that's why I made that tool because the previous video I did on this trying to do it from scratch was just took way too long um, so with this theme editor you know you add all your images, images, your sounds, everything you need. It creates all the XML files for you and and the GP4 file so you can just add it in Orbis Pub Gen and generate your package file. Pretty simple. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment if you have any questions. Hit the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video since, you know, I have to say that now because well, you know, 
that's just what YouTube's like now. You have to click two buttons to get notified instead of just subscribe. Uh, but yeah, I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, also, if you get an error saying that the theme is corrupted when you're trying to apply it, it doesn't always mean that it's actually corrupt. Often it just means that you have to um, re-enable the homebrew enabler. So, you know, restart your PS4, re-enable the homebrew enabler, and then try and install the theme again or run the theme again, and often it'll work. Uh, so yeah, that catches people out sometimes. It says it's corrupt when it's not corrupt. And also, unfortunately, the themes are not uh, permanent. So when you restart your PS4, the theme will disappear unless you run the homebrew enabler again and reapply it. So that's a bit of a bummer, but hopefully that will be you know fixed some down, sometime down the line. But uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't deter you from making some custom themes. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.